So within this recording, I'm going to try and show you how to um, draw on top of an image to get a vector. Um, so I've just pasted in an image of a closed peg into my design. Um, and at the moment, that's movable aroundable. But actually, if I just go Command-2, that locks that image in place and makes it so I can't move it around or work on it. That will stop it from jumping around when I start to draw. Now zooming in, I'm just going to do some simple drawings with, with a line tool. So I'm going to the pen tool over here. I'm going to select uh, no fill because I don't want it to fill in the gaps. And I'm going to select a stroke of a strong colour so I can see what I'm doing. And I tend to use pink um, just so I can see what I'm up to. On this then, I can then just start to map in some of the general drawing spaces. I'm also working with the one point line. This is on an A3 document, by the way. So I just click on there, come down to this corner, come down, come across. I'm going to go up there, across there, and across to there. Now, it's not absolutely perfect. Uh, you can tell just here I've kind of missed my line a bit. But I'm not going to worry about that. But what that's created is a slightly closed form. If I press Command-2, uh, I've now locked that so it's not going to move around, which will allow me to bring in two lines across there. And again, just keep on locking it in between each section of the drawing that you do, um, especially at the end of a closed shape. It's a really clever thing to do. Just do that. Press Command-2. It releases the pen, which allows you to then start drawing over the top of the whole thing quite quickly. Command-2 down there from that corner over to here there's a little bit of a curve on that but i'm not going to deal with that and here i'm not going to manage to do a close form because i've got a curve to come up to so again i'm just going to lock that in place command two uh come in here across here command two lock it again and i'm going to work over the rest of the drawing in exactly the same way um just bringing these lines in okay so i'm just going to do that quickly speed up the video and then i'll join you again in a moment Okay, and now I've got to that point. If I just press escape uh, with my pen, it releases the pen tool. And now I can start to work in on some of the curves. So on the curves, you want to kind of work with a slightly different um, technique. You want to work with this curvature tool. But if you drop the curvature tool onto the end of a line that's locked, it will help you draw it. If, however, that line isn't locked, it will then convert the whole of that line to being a curve, which can be a bit of a pain. So again, I'm just going to work around the rest of the drawing, trying to use as many, uh, sorry, as fewer clicks as you can on the curvature tool. Otherwise, you get these really bumpy curves. This isn't absolutely perfect, but I'll show you something you can do with it in a moment. Okay, and just zooming these places into line, using the lock tool in between commands to help me work out a reasonably interesting shape. Okay, so I'm just going to draw over the rest of the drawing like that in a similar way, so you can follow what I'm up to. Lock those drawings in place. Now, I think I've got some lines which I didn't quite draw in the right place, and I've also got some lines, if you look in close detail, which aren't focused in. So one of the things I need to do is be able to grab all those lines without moving the drawing around, but because I've locked everything, I need to unlock everything as well. So unlocking is command option two at the same time. That then releases everything back into play. Then just go and select the photograph again and lock that command two. But now I can zoom in and start affecting and adjusting and making alterations to this design. So the first thing I want to do is try and close these forms up. Go to the direct selection tool, click off, click on, that allows you to go and grab a line and you can see it kind of locks into the middle of this line so there's a stroke or a path running through there that helps things happen like that on this one i'm going to take it away and show you how you can join it but again if you join it it will lock to a point where it clicks in now you'll spot here that you've got this rather nasty little sharp little spike on the end and that's to do with the settings on the stroke tool so if i select this line and go to stroke over here and then come to this corner I can actually make that corner curve and if I press this button 
that corner disappears and the lines join together in a much more pleasing way. Um, if I select everything on the page and make the strokes have nice curved corners, I'll be able to deal with quite a few of those in one hit. So all those shapes that were not looking very nice have been dealt with. And then the other thing I want to try and do is bring this line over here across to meet that one. And I might just zoom in just to check it's landed in the right place, which it has. So I'm now just going to go around the rest of the drawing, looking for spaces which I don't like or things which I don't think I got quite right. Oh, my days. Now one of the things about this part of the drawing is actually that end is curved so I'm now going to show you just a little thing you can do to try and make this curve look better. This line is a single line, it works on its own or nearly on its own between these two points. If I click on that line, go over here to the pen tool and go to anchor point tool, what I'm able to do is turn this into a curve and actually with a little bit of care you can then just make that curve bend out to give you the end of that peg but this line I want to keep straight so if you grab the handle and line it up again with the main stroke it will then straighten up that line again so you get a nice little curved end on the edge of the peg which makes it look a bit more authentic. So now what we're going to do is start to enlarge some of the lines and then tidy up some of these curves. Um, so the way I'm going to do that is by um, selecting all of the um, object uh, and grouping it so command G will group them all that means if I unlock everything uh, which was command 2 and then I can go in and delete the picture from the back you can get a sense of the kind of areas that we still need to work on and what we're trying to do with the image so can I just lock that again command 2 so that's all locked up uh, but this is still movable and mucko aroundable with. So um, the bit I'm going to try and do is tidy up some of these curves, add a bit of weight to this line and also draw in this uh, piece of wire on the peg uh, as another design. So I'm going to bump up the stroke by doing that over here. I'm going to take it to probably not three, maybe two. Uh, I might try 2.5 so you can type that in and that just kind of gives you an in-between. Um, which looks quite good and then I'm just going to zoom in on this bit now you can see this curve is a little bit ugly so the way I can do that is you need to pull up your smooth tool and the smooth tool is in this button here uh, you need to pull it up but then you need to go into a selection and choose a line then go back to the smooth tool and all you need to do is kind of draw over the top of that and Illustrate, Illustrator starts to take control and tidy things up for you again this is a separate line on its own. Go back to the smooth tool and just draw it and it kind of tidies things up and makes them look uh, more balanced and even. This one's horrible over here. So again, just go in with the direct selection tool, click that line, go in with the smooth tool. Thanks Illustrator, you're great. And having done that, zoom out. So I'm just sliding my fingers together to zoom out. I'm on a laptop or command minus or plus, depending on what you want to do. Um, have a look at the design and then again with the selection tool, draw over the top of all of it and group it. So that's now all worked in there together and then command two locks everything. So none of this is going to move around. But what I am going to do is go back to the pen tool and change my color so I can see what I'm doing when I start to draw into here. Now again, it's a 2.5 line. Just gonna try and bring this blue pen line in along this edge. Come along and follow it till I get to that curvy point on that bit. So I'm just gonna go straight across there. Again, press escape to release the pen. I'm gonna go to the curvature tool this time. Press escape to release. Come around this corner because it's got a little bit of a bend on it. 
not too many dots until you get to the point where it's telling you it wants you to come around the corner and again I'll be able to tidy this up in a moment but if you look here if you click over and you touch any other line with Illustrator it will make it go a bit crazy and it will pick up the other line which you don't want it to do um, so what I tend to do is just come away from that line and then press either lock or escape again I'm using lock here which means I can then pick up the line again oops just going to lock everything again pick up the line here come round back on myself again and then I'm just going to leave that line floating because I need to um, do it in a different way so press escape which releases the pen then go to the direct selection tool I tend to click off click on and I can just grab that line and then stretch it into that point same thing over here grab this end although it's locked so I've just unlocked it all command 2 click off click on whoops click on click off then I can drop that line in there now this isn't very nice again so again I'm going to use a smooth tool just to help tidy that curve up pull it out you can kind of stretch a little bit and that will help me also tidy up this rather ugly line here hopefully so if I select the line back to the smooth tool come around that corner and the other thing you can do is just shrink this line down a little bit by grabbing that anchor point and moving it in try and get these parallel lines across these two bits of the peg wire now that's going to go across here and join in about there again I'm just going to smooth that line just a little bit try and tidy it up drag this bit in just a bit and zooming out just to see what I've got I think I've moved the whole thing when I did that yeah I did so click off click on gives you control of one point on its own click off click on on the anchor you can then enlarge that circle again I'm going to turn this line to black in a moment so it's uh, going to tidy itself up just move that pink line in there press escape and escape again to release the pin so now we've got the peg and the line and the edges and all the curves sorted uh, we can now go on to unify the colors so we're going to select every single thing in there it's going to lock the background because it's popping up again because I unlocked everything grab over the top and then this time I'm just going to turn everything to a black stroke which means we've now got a black line drawing around my design again if I unlock everything I'm just going to group that before I do this go command G to group then unlock everything and I can take the background away and there we go we've got my peg drawing ready to play in Photoshop